but essentially just tracking everything that you can um, and just trying to stay motivated. Yeah. Yeah, because I was just telling James, like, I don't feel like I... Maybe it's just like the old bro in me talking, but I don't feel like I'm... But essentially just tracking everything that you can um, and just trying to stay motivated. Yeah. Yeah, because I was just telling James, like, I don't feel like I... Maybe it's just like the old bro in me talking, but I don't feel like I'm doing work. Unless I'm like, I don't want to say killing myself on cardio, but unless I'm like doing something. I don't know, I don't, because I've done the opposite way. I'm like, let me get away with the minimum. And I get, I get, I get away with the minimum, and then I do the opposite with nutrition. So, it's yeah. getting away. It's finding the, like the medium, right? Right. But getting away with a minimum is the most efficient and best way for long-term success. Yeah. Because minimum is comfortable or most comfortable. If you're killing yourself constantly, you only have so much willpower to last years and years and even decades. Yeah. It's the slowest you burn yourself out, the more you're going to keep going. Yeah. And the faster yeah. you burn yourself out, well, you're going to have to deal with burnout. Yeah. And that's not a good thing either. And, and then remember, guys, this is... This is me talking about me, James Talk. Welcome back to part two of this video, what to do when falling off. This is Fatty Mansi here, your personal coach. And to the point of the topic that James and I were discussing of what I, what I feel like, or when I feel like I'm actually working. Now this is something that uh, works for me and happens to work for me. And I can tell, you know, when I'm gonna get to that point of, of burning out. But, you know, I've been doing this for a while. I've been training for a while. I've been uh, going to the gym consistently for a number of years. And that's not to say that I know it all because usually things happen where right when you think you know your body and you think you got it all figured out uh, <laughs> something happens or you learn something new or you get burned out faster than you thought you would so what you before you make a decision like the one i've made as far as increasing my cardio tremendously or lowering calories tremendously or whatever decision that you have made or decision that you are contemplating of making, you really need to uh, stick with the basics, like James was saying. What's sustainable long term is slowly getting into uh, the program and not going, you know, balls to the wall, uh, two hours of cardio every day. Decreasing your calories to, I don't know, like a thousand or twelve hundred week one because you're gonna get burned out quick. And if not, if you do get those quick results, you're gonna go backward, backwards and spiral down just as quickly as you got there. Um, just try not to reinvent the wheel. Don't do anything out of the ordinary. Stick with what has worked for others, see where you're at, gauge that. If you continue progressing, then keep doing that. Don't change with what's working. Uh, that's gonna be the gist of this video for today, guys. I'm just gonna leave you with uh, the rest of this chest and arms workout. We didn't get it all recorded because it is a an extremely long day but we got most of the chest workout recorded and one or two sets of arms that's gonna be it for this video guys stay tuned to the end of the video uh to see and hear about some characters that we've seen in some of the other videos anyway guys 
that's going to be it for this video. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for the next video. I'll see you guys later. James and I just finished the workout and uh, we ran into oh. we ran into Samson over here. You guys remember Samson from the squat video? I'll link it up in the description. Oh look at that, he's getting there. He's getting there. Um so to the point what James and I were talking about, for some people they'll think that what I'm doing is like overkill, overtraining. But I've been lifting for quite a while, so I know when I'm gonna get to the point of like all right, here it goes. And so especially when it comes to conditioning, running. And you can't just all of a sudden run five miles just like that. What do you do? You build up. So you might start off with a mile. A couple weeks later, two miles, three miles, four miles. So you build to that threshold to where you consistently run that five miles. But you always have to build it. You have to, have to start somewhere and just build from there. It's a process. Yeah. It's not going to happen just overnight. It's a full-on process. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for this video. Don't forget to give it a like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next video.